Hello Taurus, Salt Intuition here. This is your September 2022 reading. I'm going to pull from the dark mirror. Let's see what card you get. What's going on for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Take what resonates and leave the rest, please. And we have Artificial Heart, number 12. And I'm going to read what that means. It may be a message that you need to hear. And so, if you don't feel the warmth of the sun, will I blame the sun or myself? Building oneself to specifications, stealing oneself to adversity, dreaming and going dark. Once upon a time, it was a time of flying monkeys. Someone journeyed to a place that wasn't Kansas in order to gain a heart. Oh, such a charming old-fashioned fairy tale. A new heart can be bought on the internet now and be delivered in a couple of days with a brand new shiny instructional manual. It works too. It gets the job done. It's not a job of feelings. It's scripted like a job of numbers. Actually, it feels like a trade-off. We find refuge in the rational mind, which in turn gives us back the illusion of control. But, but we still feel. We still long to live through our emotions fully. We are truly like an artificial knight that wants to become a real person. Happiness is not in numbers. But it's not because numbers are bad. It's because there is nothing that alone can grant happiness and guarantee it. We trade in the natural world for artificiality. And then we blame this choice as the reason why our sky has no color. What if it's not actually connected? What if it's just an excuse? What if even an artificial heart could beat and fall in love and drown in sorrow? So that was your black or dark mirror card. All right, let's get on with your reading. And this is general. This is just a general message, whatever comes out. Hopefully, I will connect with you. Here we go. What does Taurus need to know for the highest good? What do they need to be aware of? What does Taurus need to be aware of? Okay, we have the Ace of Wands. That is a fire sign energy coming up. And that's a brand new beginning, a brand new start. And it could happen to be with whatever direction that you're trying to go to. But there's things that you don't know. You could be dealing with the Pisces. You do have the Moon card. And the Moon talk, talks about um, mystery, the unknown. So maybe y'all don't know which way or that y'all going to go or... Uh, what type of direction you're going in. You just don't know right now. Maybe I'll have changed jobs, partners, uh, places of residence. We'll find out. Clarify the moon card. What's making you un unsure? Because in the past, you've had the Ten of Swords. You've been backstabbed and betrayed. So moving on or making a new start kind of making you feel like maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe I just uh, want to chill for a little bit. I don't trust people. What else stars need to know? You also have the Knight of Wands, the Five of Swords. So this, uh, evidently you have had someone that hurt you. They were winning at all costs, even though you came in um, to help. This person was not going to allow you to win. This person was all about themselves with the Five of Swords, and they wanted to win at all costs. So to defeat you, they didn't care about. They did it as a defense mechanism, you know, like hurt you before you hurt me. So you may have had someone that was being very defensive. Tell us something else for Taurus. You do have the high priestess, so you watch this happen. You kind of figured it would happen with the high priestess. That is a person that has strong intuition. You watch what people 
say and do. You watch their actions. And it looks like you saw that coming. What else we need to tell? Here we go. We have the Three of Pentacles and the Justice card. So you did get justice in the situation, and it could have had to be in, in work where you got your justice. Let's see. Looks like you chose to walk away from this work situation or the person. Tried to make it work, but you saw they were, uh, you know, all about themselves. Trying to win at all costs. Kind of broke your heart, didn't it? Kind of broke your heart. Um, you know, people doing things to you that you're like, what? I worked so hard for you. I put so much effort into this. Why would you hurt me like that? And when you got clarity, it hurt you. You found out how toxic this person was with the devil card. This person you're dealing with was toxic. They broke your heart. You got clarity on the toxic traits that they had, which is trying to win at all costs. No matter who they hurt. They want to be the last person standing. Period. They don't care what they do to others. They're just out for, you know, what they can get. Whatever other messages for Taurus. Two of Wands. So you're still very stable. But it looks like judgment's here. And judgment usually talks about trying to resurrect something from the past. And do you want to go back down the same path? You have a choice. What path do you want to travel? You want to make it hard on yourself by traveling back? Let's see. I can tell you it will give you sleepless nights. The Queen of Swords is here in the sleepless nights. Well, if you were worrying about something, it looks like you cut that shit out. If it was something about the path and the past and the path you chose, well, guess what? You're not doing that anymore. We have the Four of Cups and the Page of Wands. So whatever person that you chose to go back to or uh, go toward looks like it left you feeling very unfulfilled well we already know about this person this person was a win at all cost this person was leave you before you leave me treat you a certain way before you treat me I'll get you before you get me looks like you hate conflict Six of Swords. If you find out that somebody's trying to create drama conflict, Six of Swords says, I'm getting out of here. I'm not dealing with this anymore. I'm just leaving. I don't want to be associated or around people that act like that. You also have the artist. There's someone that you could be dealing with that um, they had a lot of hobbies. Maybe you worked for. And your lesson is possessive. So this person could have been very possessive. Uh, this person was is a collector an artist a hobbyist so that could be who you could have been working with or dealing with all right taurus we have let chance play its creative role in your life so you know things will happen when you least least expect it is what i feel like it's trying to say to you As far as love, 
see what you need to know for the messages of love. We have take a chance on love. When we love, our lives are changed forever. So for some of y'all that don't have anyone, this is asking you to take a chance on it. For the singles, what can you expect for 2022 in love? Success. If you're waiting for love, looks like it's coming in. What are the characteristics, traits that we can look for? This may have been somebody that you uh, had many regrets over. It could be in a past person, therefore the judgment card. So a past person is coming in. And maybe it's someone that you had many regrets with. That you didn't see how much they loved you. You were just looking at what you didn't have. So it could be in a past person. That's coming in for love. Alright Taurus. That was your reading. Y'all like, subscribe, comment as well as share. And I appreciate y'all being here.